Hey guys, it's your girl, Rena the Great. What's up? Damn, I almost broke my neck. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I have a sinus infection, but I'm trying to be consistent. Okay, stall me out. So I'm here. What it do? What it do? Ski, boo ski. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, now, nah, but for real, what's up, y'all? Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, leave a comment, say what's up to your girl. Talk to me because I talk back, baby. Um, no, nah, but today I wanted to do a story time. So, today's story time, I want to talk about my boo thing, okay? When me and my girl was locked in. If we locked in, hey, ain't no switching up. Hey. Mm -mm. Okay, sorry my lighting is so bad, you guys. It's night and I'm just doing the best I can. I'm fighting for my life. Um, anyways. <clears throat> Oh, I actually, I wrote notes because some of the, some of these stories, you guys, I'm older now, okay? Some of these stories are old, and I really have to write down the sequence because I'll try to tell the story, and then I'm sitting here talking, and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, but I didn't say that happened. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot to say that happened. Ah, oh, damn it, forgot to say that. So that's why I just, um, I had to start over, all right? I had to start over because I want to give you all the facts, Okay. So today I'm going to talk about my story time when I had my girlfriend, me and my boo, we was in love. I'm in love with a female. <laughs> okay, Um. so if I look down, it's because I'm reading my notes, okay? So this is where this is going to start. This is when I went to a JC to play basketball. And um, I went, <clears throat> I actually, the coach used to set up apartments for the girls because he recruited us, majority of the team, recruited us all, for, we're all from LA though, different areas of LA, but, um, so yeah, um, oh, so I had already started staying at my place in the summer because I would do summer, I think I was doing summer school, I'm not sure, but I was definitely doing my summer trainings and basketball and all that. And so it was just easier for me to stay over there so I could, you know, do my trainings all the time. And I, with my coach, he had this one guy that would train with us and that became my boyfriend. <laughs> and so that was my summer boo. And it was my coach's like, I don't know, it was weird. They're like best friends. He was way younger, but it was... But, I don't know, it worked out in my advantage because that was my boyfriend. So then, boom, we were cool. So then the school year starts and my summer boo, he is going to school like two hours away. So he wants to stay together and stuff, but mm, that didn't really work out for me. <laughs> so I went to Saddleback, boom, I'm on the team. We're all bonding, we're all getting to know each other, we're partying, we're drinking, we're smoking, we are drinking, what's ghosting? <laughs> um, no, nah, but for real. So, um, and then one of my teammates, she had a minivan, we would all pull up in that minivan, start twerking, we were going to parties, we was going to fun drinks. it was just fun, it was really fun, right? And then, because we're a team, so then the boys basketball team, of course, you guys just start hanging out with them because that's just how it goes. So, um, okay. Um, okay. So yeah. So some of my teammates, they had came, well, only like one cat really came from out of state, but she had brought her best friend, which was a gay man. Um, and like another girl had brought her cousin and stuff and then that cousin had she became the team manager though so she was around a lot she would always go out with us she stayed at the apartments too where we lived like so yeah so that's happening we're all bonding boom i started talking to one of the boys on the team wasn't that serious wasn't that deep whatever time goes on so then the girl so then we you know now it's like some of the girls are dating because it's already established some of the girls are gay it's a women's basketball team let's be real but um let's be real um so yeah so that's happening and mind you our coach did say one of his main rules is do not date your teammates he had a real thing against that because he was so mad that his daughter didn't make it as far as she could in basketball because he believes that it was because she was gay and she would date her teammates and it would ruin the basketball of chemistry. So he was real adamant about that. He was pissed. 
don't y'all be dating and kissing and licking each other. <laughs> so, um, so then soon, soon it just kind of like the, the team kind of got divided in the sense that, you know, the people that were cool with these people, we hung out and the other team, they hung out and that's just kind of how it was. We would all come together sometimes, but some of us just didn't click just like any other groups of people, I guess. I don't know. So then, um, so then as all that's happening, the team manager, which was one of our teammates cousin, she just, she left, she up and moved. I don't exactly know what happened. I know it was drama, but no one really knew like the drama. So I was just like, okay, whatever. But once she left, it was like these two girls on my team, they really start like, I don't know, showing their gayness, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but like they really like start, I don't know, like would start, I guess trying to pursue me or talk to me different or something. I don't know exactly how to say it, but I never had a girlfriend before. They knew that. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. Once that girl left, a lot of just the chemistry just started changing. And it was like the girl's, cousin that had left she just became more like flirtatious and more just different energy right so I just kind of like gravitated towards her I just kind of cling to her I just kind of I don't know she was she was she was fine she's hella pretty and she just had swag she was funny she would talk smack all the time like she was just I love that girl. I love that girl. And then the way that I dare, she don't even respond to me anymore. <laughs> but anyways, that's a different story. If you're seeing this, I'm sorry. For real. Anyways. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, once that girl left, then yeah, like I said, it just changed. Like the energy, the chemistry, everything. So then me and that girl, I'm going to name her Robin. Robin. That's what we're going to name her. The girl's where the cousin had left her name is we're gonna name her robin that's not her real name but that's what we're gonna name her so uh me and robin we just start becoming real cool and bonding and it was just we more flirtatious and everything and she's also the one who had the minivan and so one day one night i don't know why but we were in the back of the minivan we would just do that for privacy sometimes but like or maybe we just all went and smoked in the car or something and then just me and her stayed behind I don't know exactly. Maybe we had all went somewhere and everyone got out. I mean, I don't remember exactly, but me and her were in the car. And um, I don't know. Like I said, like I'm, she's the only girl I've ever dated. She just had this energy. I was just like, ooh, I want you. So um, I just remember, yeah, that night in the back of the car, I just grabbed her by her like sweater and was like, So, um, so yeah, and then ever since that, it was just like, it was locked in, and I'm switching up, and I'm like, eh. um, <laughs> so yeah, after that, we was locked in for real, like for real, for real. So, um, but, you know, and everything was good at first, we would go on dates, and it was like, in the beginning, it was a little bit of drama, I remember, I think she had to change just like this. Um, but, um, cause I remember in the beginning when we first just started talking, like she gave me her chain and I just remember it was like some talk about that, and, like a little bit of drama amongst people, but I was just like, what, what's the big deal? Like, I thought maybe because like, I don't know, she was my first girlfriend. I don't know. I was just like, okay, whatever. But come to find out, you guys come to find out that was not Robin's cousin. That was Robin's girlfriend. And whatever happened... I don't know. They broke up. She left. And then boom, it's like I immediately swooped in. But then again, like I said, I wouldn't really call it swooping in because I did not know that that was that girl's girlfriend. Okay. But so apparently there was like, cause she, she went, she left, she went back home, but home is not too far. Home is 45 minutes away, guys. So I had like a beef with this girl that I didn't even know I was beefing with. Like, 
But she didn't really ever come at me because I guess she knew. I don't know how things ended or whatever, but I guess she knew like, like I didn't know nothing. So it wasn't, I wasn't trying to do her dirty. Like I wasn't being a dirty friend. Like I, I when I was your friend, I was really a friend to you. I didn't know none of this was going on, you know, but that did happen. So, and then it was crazy because later on in life, I seen her and I was at a low time in my life. And she was probably looking at me like, ooh. This girl's a hot mess. We didn't even say anything. Just looked like. That's a whole nother story time. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, so then that's going on. But whatever, because, you know, she's not there no more. So me and Robin are dating now. We're locked in. Like I said, though, the teams had already kind of separated. And now it's like six girls living in a one bedroom apartment because half of us are dating. So you want to be with that person. And then people are not getting along. It's too many people, too many, just, just too much. It's too much going on. And so, um, eventually, and then to my roommate, I love my roommate. Shout out to her. Um, you know, it sucks for her because me and her, we used to be so close and stuff, but now I'm always over there. So like that would cause whatever, and it was just a lot of, like, clicking up. So I guess our coach wasn't that wrong. But whatever, I don't really care. Because you ain't going to tell me who I could date. <laughs> and I don't regret it. So anyways. Um, so then, yeah, we, we just, it was too much. So we start arguing and fighting. And one of the girls, I don't know, the teammate, she was, like, stealing my girlfriend's hats or something, like, just doing something stupid, some petty, and it just pissed me off. Like, I've always low-key been hot-headed. So, um, I just remember, like, that happening, right? And everything else is going on. We're all partying still, you know, we're going to school. We're doing pretty good in our season. Like, things are cool. And so, um, and so, but yeah, so we were starting to just not get along, fight and stuff. So, I remember... Finally, the girl was told my girlfriend, the roommate that was stealing told my girlfriend, like, at school, like, okay, we could talk about it or whatever. Let's go meet up at the apartment, but don't bring your girlfriend. She's extra. She's crazy. Don't bring her. I was like, I'm already there. She already told me what you thought this was. That's that's my bitch. That's my bitch. <laughs> she knew what I say. Not what you say. That's my bitch. <laughs> so, um, so then... Um, oh yeah. So then I was there, I was there, but, but the whole team, we was all there. Right. And we were at the apartment and I just remember people start talking to the, the, she got up and start talking. I don't even remember what she said, but all I remember is I got up and was just like, nah, bitch, you do too much talking. Da, 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 da. And I remember she was taller than me. So <laughs> I like pushed her a little bit. Before I swung, because I'm like, uh-uh, bitch, you big. You're not about to just be swinging down and just beat my ass. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. So, then that happened at the apartment. So, we just started. And so, me and her are together, right? So, me and her, it's like we got each other's back. <laughs> so, she has to have my back now. So, me and her start fighting, and I start swinging, and then remember how I told you that one of the, the teammates, so there was, it was all girls, but there was one man that, that my teammates gave best friend, but he was still a man. He was strong. He was a man, big man. So, um, so he was the only one there. So he was the only one that could really stop anything or anyone because he can just literally pick us up and do that. And that's literally what he did. So people got mad at me. My teammates were getting mad at me because they're like, it wasn't your fight and you started it. And then and I'm like, so what? But that's my bitch. So it is my fight. It's it's my fight because that's my bitch. And I got her back. So that's my fight. Period. <laughs> and I didn't let that. They kept trying to talk me out of it. To... I don't care. Still to this day. That's yeah, it was my fight. So anyways, but that's how they felt. So then um, his name was, I don't want to say his name. His name was, um, well, he don't even need a name because this is the only part he has. So anyways, he picked me up and he took me to like the bathroom or something. He was like, nah, 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 it's not your fight. Let her fight. Let her fight. So my girlfriend got up and started fighting her. And as he's picking me up, I'm like walking by her or not walking, but like he's carrying me by her. And I'm like trying to stomp on her while my girlfriend's fighting her. I'm just like... Get that bitch, get that bitch, get that whoop, 
Walmart, <laughs> like from the bathroom and stuff. <laughs> and then I just remember too, like, I just kept trying to get out there and get out the bathroom because at one point, like, my girlfriend was short and she was big. She was taller than me, the other girl. And she had, like, just tried to, like, tackle her onto the, that we had, like, a glass table and that's, it's shattered. The glass shattered everywhere. And my girlfriend got cut on her foot and stuff, but my girlfriend whooped her ass. That's why she tried to tackle her, because she was getting her ass whooped. Like, once, and I'm not even trying to say that to just be, but she did. Like, and it was because the, the girl that we were fighting, she wasn't really, like, uh, like trying to fight all the time. But she would just run her mouth, and it would be like, okay, so you do want to fight. Like, anyways... So now it's already making the fights. I'm, I think I had escaped by that time. I'm like trying to get in the fight, but there's glass everywhere now. My other teammates are like, okay, no, this is too much. It's too much. It's too much. So now the fight's making it out. The fight's making its way out the front door. I guess the neighbor, she's hearing everything. So she's like, I'm calling the cops, blah, blah, blah. So then we all just dispersed. We dispersed because I'm not going to jail <laughs> at the time. I was still um, involved with my daddy, and he would have beat the shit out of me. <laughs> but, um, because I did, I called him, and he was just like, you better not go to jail, you better leave. So, anyways, um, so then that happened. Yeah, so then that was a whole big thing. And then, so that was just something that happened, right, like, throughout our relationship. So then... I might break this up into part twos, but whatever. So then um, we get over that. We figure it out. We talk it out. You know, we're a team. So we had to. We had to figure it out eventually. So we came together, blah, blah, blah. I may have apologized. I may not have. Don't know. Don't remember. But like I said, we all just came together and went back to partying and doing all that. And then, so then, um... So then, now I'm getting into the part of my relationship where, like, I'm just like, damn, I left my man for her. Like, damn, I love her, but I don't know the sex part. I was just like, I don't know if I can only, like, have this type of sex my whole life. Like, I'm used to, pull, 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 pull. <laughs> like, you know, and I guess maybe we could have used, like, toys and stuff, but... I don't know, to me, it just kind of felt weird because I'm like, I've had the real thing. So I don't know. So that was the only part where like, I was just like, yeah, I don't know if I'm about this girlfriend life because, which is crazy, but I don't know. I was young. So, but that's not crazy because sex is a big part of relationships. So, so I did some things I'm not so proud of. So at this point in the relationship... Like I said, that's how I was feeling. So I started talking to this other boy on the basketball team on the low. And we were friends. And he's just a goofball. Like, he's silly. He's nothing I would take serious anyways. Like, both of us. We were we were friends. Like, we would talk smack to each other. Like, but I don't know. I guess there was just a certain type of attraction. Mainly when we were drunk. But I don't know. It was just. Yeah, so then my bright idea. <laughs> so I give in to temptation and I cheat. I think I cheated a couple times. Once was at the jacuzzi, an outside jacuzzi. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hope my family's not watching this. But, um... <laughs> so, yeah, I started cheating. And I'm not good at that, though. I always tell on myself. Also, I think I got caught. I really do think, like, his boxers was in the couch. Like, something so stupid. Something so stupid. And then I blamed it on our, my roommate. Because we did have two boy roommates. But then... I don't know. Someone told on someone. I don't know. But pretty much I just came. I confessed. I came clean. <laughs> and so, 
that was a big old thing and she was so hurt and you know i felt bad and because i did i loved her i felt terrible you know especially because i didn't care about him it was really just a sex thing and so like and it was just i felt bad because like i said me and her were best friends we really had a connection i don't know like we just our souls connected and like i was the one who helped her like really come out to her family and was just like so i don't know we just connected and had a strong bond so when i did that it was pretty messed up and it was like she still took me back afterwards because I think it was just caught her so off guard. Like, we was so good. So, for me to do that was just like, damn. Well, damn. You know? So, I do. I feel bad about that. But, um, so, yeah. But, you know, of course, after that, it wasn't just really the same. And it was a lot of arguments. And then by that time somehow i don't even oh one of the girls yep i'm pretty sure one of the girls which is actually a girl from like my city like where i'm from we were like really good friends she came out there and was on the team and she snitched on me because she's a fucking hater i don't know the hater okay my girl mind y'all business like we were literally best friends at home and then over here we just act like we didn't know each other like i didn't start that but she did so i was like Whatever you on, I'm on. But anyways, she ended up snitching on me because she was like coach's pet. I don't, and she just, I don't know. That's a whole nother thing. She was just on some weird, she was just weird. That's a whole weird, weirdo story. But anyways, um, so, um, so yeah, she snitched. My coach finds out and by this time it's already like the end of the season we're about to be in the playoffs now me and her she took me back and we're trying to make it work and stuff but now our coach found out so the coach calls my dad and now he gets him involved because he knows when my dad's involved it's a lot of intimidation involved <laughs> So, um, so yeah, so literally right before the playoffs, he kicks us off the team. He calls my dad down there to tell my dad, my dad's like, y'all don't even know him. He just, he was so upset. He was so pissed. He was so mad. And, um, I just remember I was just crying and like, I don't remember what I was saying, but I was just, I just remember thinking like, I wanted to quit anyways. I don't like this. Like, y'all not about to make me feel bad. Like, I loved her. I don't care. Like, or I love her, you know? But now that I got kicked off the team and everything, the only way I was living with her is because we stayed over those, but those were apartments were through the coach, which obviously had to do with my dad. And so... He's just like, I was like, no, I want to stay. I want to finish out school, blah, blah, blah. He's like, no, I don't give a damn. You bringing your ass home, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, ew, I don't want to go there, especially with you. Ew, no. And, um, but I had no option because I had nowhere else to stay out there. And yeah, I just remember like, they, I think, like, I don't know how he made me, but, like, they made me leave. I couldn't go there no more. I had no job out there. I had no, I had no school. I had nowhere, like, then I could, they knew, they weren't letting me stay at that apartment because it was, like I said, through the coaches and stuff. So, it was just, they blew up our whole spot. <laughs> so, then after that, yeah, we both got kicked off. I think... They ended up winning their first playoff game, and then they lost the second one. Because we were all starters, too. He kicked off a bunch of starters. It wasn't just me and her. I think he kicked off other people. It wasn't just me and her. I don't know. I don't remember. But two starters, and she was the point guard out of your... Like, yeah, that's, 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 that's not good before playoffs. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So that's how I got kicked off the basketball team for dating my soulmate. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. And you know what? I probably could tell like, 
a couple more stories within that, but I just, maybe I'll just tell them another time. But yeah, that was my first and only girlfriend experience and that's that. <laughs> All right, anyways, I got to stop talking. My, ooh, my sinus is killing me. But anyways, love you guys. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, leave me a comment. Bye.